Hey everybody, welcome back to another video here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. My name is Greg Sykes, and if you're new here, thank you for joining us. And if you're not new here and you're still joining us, then wow, thank you for the, your support. If you don't mind, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. And when you do, make sure you hit that notification bell so you will never miss another video release here on the Washington Football Maniacs YouTube channel. With that said, let's get into today's video, shall we? So, William Jackson III will no longer, or apparently will no longer, be a Washington commander by the end of the day. Uh, that is either through a trade or being outright cut. And right now, it's probably likely that he's going to be cut, because it doesn't seem like that we're getting any really true offers from any other teams. So if he's cut and he clears waivers within about 24 hours, he can be picked up by any other team. And at that point, the commanders are pretty much off the hook for his salary. And, well, it's as if we hardly knew the old Will. At Jackson, you know, he just did not fit with the defensive scheme here in Washington. You know, he excels more in man-to-man -man coverage, and but, you know, he, he showed... He really just showed a lot of struggle within uh, working within the zone. And this is unfortunate because, in my opinion, you know, the Washington Commanders should not have paid that type of salary uh, to a cornerback that is not versatile enough to be able to play both man and zone. I mean, if you're going to pay top dollar for a corner, shouldn't he be able to play all aspects of the secondary? I mean, I. Maybe maybe I just don't understand it enough, and, and it's possible, but I, I really feel like a corner that is only good in either you know playing in zone or either just good playing in man shouldn't be getting top dollar or shouldn't even be getting, you know, three fourths top dollar, right? In my opinion, he's a he's a systems corner. Uh, but then again, I, I grew up watching guys like Daryl Green who excelled no matter what the defense was, right? So if the defense was more of a nickel or, you know, kind of more of a a, a zone type, um, you know, Daryl Green excelled. You know, if it was man to man, Daryl Green was right there. So, you know, I guess I was spoiled being able to watch Hall of Fame type of corners. And I just, you know... I just feel like when these guys come out here on free agency and they're, you know, they're demanding these big salaries, I just feel like they need to be versatile. I mean, maybe it's just me, you know. And also maybe it's just me that the secondary seems to have played better since William Jackson III's been benched. I mean, you know, it hasn't been perfect. I, I realize that. But, you know, we've had a big reduction in, you know, the big-time plays, you know, Benjamin St. Juice, he, he's, he's been moved out to the outside, and I think he's played really well on the outside. Fuller's been okay, you know. I, I've seen some plays where Fuller's been a little suspect. Uh, Wild Goose, he continues to learn. I mean, he's going to get burned on some plays. He's going to hold. He's going to cause his pass interference calls. But, you know, a guy like him, you're going to kind of expect that. Uh, but he's going to continue to learn. You know, our safeties. You can't say enough good things uh, about Cameron Curl. I think he's been pretty solid. Uh, you know, honestly, I have more confidence in this secondary without William Jackson III than I did when he was in there. Um, now, I do wish WJ the third success elsewhere. I really do. That's honestly, that's an honest thing. Um, I think if he can find a defense that plays mostly man to man, he should excel. Should play very, very well. It just didn't work out for him in Washington. I mean, what can I say? Um, you know, we took a big swing on him and missed. And, uh, you know, this was a big miss for Ron Rivera and Martin Mayhew. Um, they just did not, this was not a good pickup for Washington whatsoever. You know, it seems like they, they, they seem like they're drafting pretty well. But free agency, they have not really excelled that well in free agency. And as a matter of fact, you haven't really seen you know, Ron Rivera and company really go out and 
do really well in free agency unless it's one of those mid-year pickups. You know, they did okay with that, but, you know, really free agency, we just haven't done too much in that. And, yeah, William Jackson III was just definitely one of those swing and miss uh, situations for the Washington Commanders. So, you know, I, I honestly, um, again, I wish him I wish him well, but, you know, William Jackson III, I hardly knew thee. See ya. That's pretty much all I got to say. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.